I think the most magical thing with timber is that you can build with timber. The way that timber is being made, um, by itself basically, uh, growing like very large pieces of grass in the forest. It's not something that we dig out of the ground when we're sourcing it. This is Oscar, one of two architects behind Sarah Culture Center, a 20-story timber building. The project that we designed is the tallest timber building in the world. Uh, it's going to be 20 stories and uh, that's never been done before. This film about Oscar Norelius is an episode in Stories from Sweden. In 2016, my colleague Robert Schmitz and I won the competition to design the Culture Center in Skellefteå, which is both a culture center with several theater stages, uh, two art galleries, there's the uh, city library, and then a hotel uh, and a conference center. And they can function on their own like they did before, but also start working in new ways of collaboration and using each other's spaces. So the idea of sharing is uh, built into the core of that project as well. It's great to be on site because we haven't been here for a while since Corona. We've been away for six months almost, and we've been following it online. Uh, and through pictures, so it's, it's great to be here to see it. So lots has happened. It's always very nice to see when the reality is better than what you imagined, which you can never simulate in an image or in a drawing. Oscar overlooks the center under construction. So we had regulations in Sweden up until 1994 that limited the height of timber construction because of the fires that we've had historically in cities in Sweden for a very long time ago, that you couldn't build taller than two stories. Sweden is unique within the timber construction that we, we don't have a maximum height limit. If you can manage to do, design a building that's tall in timber and that stands, then you can build it. So this is the main entrance um, where there's going to be a grand staircase. I think this is one of the most amazing rooms in the project because you can really feel the weight of the hotel coming down on these huge columns. Oscar walks through the building's corridors the main challenge has been getting people to accept the risk of building something that has not been built before. And people doubt timber as a construction material because they have a relationship to it when it comes to smaller buildings. And how would you use that material in something big? Will it even stand? That's one issue that many people think about. And then of course fire and water. Well, the, the thing is that when we're talking timber in tall buildings and in larger buildings, uh, the raw material is the same, but this is engineered wood. And in case of a fire, for instance, the fire gets on the surface of the wood and it becomes black, it becomes charcoal, and it's protecting the inner layers of timber from the heat. A dense forest is shown. Everyone in Sweden has a relationship to timber as a construction material. But all of the memories and the experiences that we've had is basically from our homes a cabin in the woods, or when we go skiing. Uh, so it's very intimate and personal relationships. I think that people instantly, when they enter a building made of timber, do feel a bit at home. Oscar inspects the staircase. I would say the main advantage of building in wood uh, is the climate effect it has, that it's minimal. Um, it's the only renewable material that we know of today for structures in buildings. The construction site is shown from above. Cut to Oscar in his office, working on a computer. I think my relationship to wood as a material has changed a lot because I've been put in a position where I can make a difference. Um, because now that the building is actually being realized, it gets a lot of attention. All of this attention can be used to promote sustainable construction in different parts of the world. Robert Schmitz talks. This project is about architecture built from timber, not timber that becomes architecture. I think the scale of this project has yet to be realized. But I think we'll see that first at the inauguration ceremony. Once it's finished and I'm standing on the 20th floor of the building, I'm expecting to be surprised, because you will have a view over the entire landscape around Skellefteå, and you will feel that you're in a high-rise, you will also be in a wood cabin somehow. The Sarah Cultural Center in the city of Skellefteå will open in September 2021. It will be one of the world's tallest wooden buildings, 20 stories. Oscar Aurelius and Robert Schmidt's winning architecture proposal, Side by Side, was inspired by Skellefteå's long tradition of timber construction. 
all of the timber used to build the center is locally sourced. The required transportation is therefore minimal, which keeps down the carbon footprint. The project plays a central role in the global movement towards more sustainable construction. This film about Oscar Norelius and the Sara Cultural Center is brought to you by Sweden's official YouTube channel. It's an episode in the channel's documentary series, Stories from Sweden.